Some Long Island parents are getting a shocking lesson in what their teens may be up to. It comes in the form of a Twitter account that features more than 100 pictures of what appear to be teenagers drunk, passed out, doing drugs, and many things we can't even show you on TV. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes explains the big problems these party pages reveal. A male seemingly passed out on the ground, surrounded by beer bottles. Oh, God. Another bare-chested, sitting sideways on the toilet. That's terrible. terrible. This girl sprawled out on the pavement. Wow. Welcome to the Long Island party circuit. Courtesy of this public Twitter account, many pictures of what appears to be underage drinking, people naked, are too graphic for television. Kids do stupid things. Uh, we've, we've probably all done stupid things. Now you've got social media to be able to publish to the world how dumb you are forever. The feed features party pics from towns across Nassau and Suffolk. We've blurred out faces. Twitter doesn't. The account says people send in photos and they tweet them simply for entertainment. Not everyone finds it amusing. Teens who are not using good judgment and parents who are clueless. Long Island psychologist and author Dr. Susan Bartell says most teens are not thinking that colleges or future employers might find their digital trail. Once someone else has forwarded it to somebody else, it's out there in cyberspace and you can never get it back. While some call all of this a rite of passage. There are lots more important things in the world. These ninth graders say those in these pictures need to smarten up. I would never do anything like that, but like I wouldn't post on the internet if, for everyone to see. Dr. Bartell says the part of the brain that controls judgment is last to develop typically in your mid-20s. That's why she says it is so important for parents to be active and aware, especially when it comes to issues of drinking and social media. Reporting in Port Washington, Long Island, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Well, a Suffolk County police spokesperson says they are aware of the Twitter account, but it would only be used as part of a larger investigation if someone filed a formal complaint.